Meniscus tears are sometimes repairable. The outer rim of the meniscus has a better blood supply. This is known as the red zone. The inner part of the meniscus has very little blood supply. It is known as the white zone. The red-white zone is in between. The farther into the red zone the tear is, the more likely it can be repaired. Meniscus repairs are often done arthroscopically, meaning that they are done using a scope rather than by making a larger incision. Once the sterile water is flowing into the knee and the tear is well visualized with the camera, special instruments are used to pass suturing thread into the joint. The special instruments are then used to sew up the torn part of the meniscus. It is best to repair the meniscus if it is repairable to keep as much shock absorber as possible in the joint. When the meniscus is repaired, the repair must be protected by not walking on the knee until it has had time to heal. This means a few weeks on crutches. A person who has a meniscus repair should work on gentle range of motion to prevent the knee from becoming stiff. If the blood supply to the torn part of the meniscus is poor, attempting to repair the tear is useless. This is because the nutrients needed for healing cannot reach the tear. While stitches might hold the torn edges in place, the edges will never heal back together. Only the outer edge of the meniscus has enough blood supply for a successful repair. When a meniscus tear is not repairable, the torn portion of the meniscus is shaved away. This results in a smoother edge that does not catch or cause pain. While it is good to leave as much healthy meniscus as possible, it is better to remove the torn portion as it can continue to catch, cause pain, and wear away at the articular cartilage. This procedure is known as a partial meniscectomy.